Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for today sa araw na ito, Panginoon, na inyong itinalaga upang sambahin ka namin sa pag-celebrate ng Lord's Day, Panginoon, na makayo po ang maging sentro ng aming pagsamba. Uh, gabayan niyo po kami, uh, pagpalain niyo po ang lahat ng gagawin namin sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Maging kalugod-lugod sa inyong paningin ang aming pagsamba sa inyo bilang individual na kristyano at bilang isang buong simbahan, Panginoon. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Ayan. Sa ating pong devotion for today, yung na-prepare ko po is uh, manggagaling tayo sa Psalm, Psalm 14, verse 1. Doon ko po binasa yung devotion natin. Ang title is, The Fool Says in His Heart. The Fool Says in His Heart. Sa Psalm 14, po yun. Basahin ko po, ito po yung salita ng Diyos. Psalm 14, The Fool Says in His Heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They are, do abominable things. There is none who does good. Wala namang Diyos ang sabi ng hangal sa kanyang sarili. Silang lahat ay masama. Kakilakilabot ang kanilang mga gawa. Walang gumagawa ng mabuti. Wala nga. Wala. Psalm 14 verse 1. Yung pagkagamit ng salitang full dun sa verse, uh, may specific usage yun sa scripture. Pero uh, speaking of that word, this coming Saturday, uh, we will, yung... Uh, madalas na tradisyon na sinaselebrate is April Fool, April Fools. Uh, uh, yung maganda yung history niya, yung yung origin ng ng tradition na yun. Though merong mga disputes kung ano ba talaga, isa sa theory kung paano nagsimula yung April uh, Fools is back in uh, 16th century sa France, yung yung king nila pinalitan nila yung yung calendar na ginagamit. yung calendar na ginagamit ngayon, which is the Gregorian calendar. So, dati, April yung end ng year nila, nung pinalitan, naging January na, yung taon na, yung year, yung calendar na familiar tayo. Now, nung, nung in-announce yun, may ibang tao daw na hindi nakasunod. Yung, yung iba, nagsiselebrate pa rin ng New Year sa April. So, yung, yung mga tao na yun, tin, tinawag silang mga fools. They, they were called April fools. So, sila yung subject ng mga pranks, ng mga, uh, yung mga, Uh, jokes, mga hoax na ginagawa nila. So, dun yung, yun yung isa sa theory kung paano nagsimula yung April Fools. Kaya, tinawag silang fools dahil hindi nila alam, hindi sila nakasabay. Contrary sa usage sa scripture, yung fools na ginamit sa Psalm 14 verse 1, uh, hindi primarily about intellectual capacity. Kasi yung sa April Fools na origin, hindi nila alam eh. Kaya tinawag silang fool. Pero sa scripture, hindi lang yung intellectual capacity yung tinutukoy sa isang taong tinawag na fool. Uh, hindi siya in a derogatory sense, kundi it's a moral indictment. Sa mga sa scripture, pag tinawag na fool yung isang tao, it's a moral indictment. In fact, sa buong book ng Psalms, yung word na fool, kinokontra siya sa wise. And it does not refer to a person of mental incompetence or yung dumb or simple-minded, hindi yun primarily. but of moral perversity. The issue lies not in the person's head, but in their heart. Hindi sa isipan nila, kundi sa kanilang puso. Ang ganda yung pinost ni Brother Evan. sa Nakita ko lang itong post niya. Sabi niya, ikukot ko yung post ni Evan. Sabi niya, medyo mas naiintindihan ko na kung bakit maraming youth ang lumalayo sa faith. Hindi dahil na-persuade sila ng worldly teachings, kundi mas permissible ang sin dito kumpara sa Kristyanismo. Evan 2023. So, kay Evan galing yun. And then, tama naman, kasi in a non-Christian belief, sa non-Christian worldview, yung isang tao ay may kalayaan pumili kung ano yung dinidesire niya sin. He has the freedom to act upon yung gusto niyang sin. Since itong mga beliefs na ito, non-Christian beliefs, are nothing but an act of rebellion or yung pag uh, pagtulig sa, uh, paglaban sa Panginoon, Yung practices niya, yung buong system ng mga non-Christian belief is against God, is against His laws. And then that's attractive sa isang unregenerate man, attractive yung mga ganong system. They have a platform to exercise their sins. They have the avenue na gawin yung kasalanan na gusto nila. So, hindi dahil na-convince sila, intellectually, tama yan. In fact, detrimental pa nga eh. Yung mga world, non-Christian worldview, will cause them disease. Non-Christian worldview uh, will uh, 
uh, not benefit them. Pero gusto pa rin nila kasi doon may kalayaan silang magkasala. So hindi primarily intellectual, kundi moral. Kaya sila na-attract sa mga non-Christian beliefs na ito. Ah. Uh, itong mga non-Christian beliefs, uh, it cause destruction of family. It cause chaos in society. And it induce depression. But okay, but okay lang yun sa kanila as long as their sins are accommodated. Basta nagagawa yung sins, okay lang. Hindi dahil convinced sila, but, be but because they are free to sin. Yung term na heart naman, dun sa verse natin, the full says in his heart, uh, it, it refers to the entire inner person representing the mind, emotion, conscience, and will. Meaning yung kabuuan ng tao. The fool who denies the existence of God, rejects God's revelation of himself, and mocks God's grace. Uh, tinutuya niya ang biyaya ng Panginoon. Ginagawa niya yun, yung ng buong pagkataon niya. Ito yung, may, yung ginadar akong three description lang, although maraming description, pero ito yung three description ng fool sa scripture. Sa Proverbs 1.7, sabi doon, the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And then yung, yung kasunod, the fool, uh, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hindi nila, ayaw nila ng mga karunungan at ng instruction. They despise wisdom and instructions. They are wise in their own eyes. Sa sarili nilang paningin, kala nila marunong sila. Sabi ni R.C. Sproul, Eh, ikukot ko si R.C. Sproul, as the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, so the denial of God is the height of foolishness. So, since yung pagkatakot sa Panginoon, yun yung simula ng karunungan, yung pag-deny naman sa Panginoon, yun yung uh, pinakamatayog na estado ng kahangalan. Uh, sa buong Proverbs, ito yung uh, partial list lang, yung characteristics ng fool. Uh, fool hates knowledge, Proverbs 1.22. The fool takes no pleasure in understanding, Proverbs 18.2. The fool enjoys wicked schemes, 10.23. He proclaims folly, 12.23. Uh, He spurns a parent's discipline, so ayaw niya magpa-disciplina sa magulang niya, 15.5. He speaks perversity. Quick-tempered, uh, 12.16. Gets himself in trouble with his proud speech. Dahil sa pananalita niya na, Isasangkot siya sa kaguluan. 14.3. Max at sin. 14.9. Deceitful. Mapanlin lang. 14.8. Despises his mother. Yan. Yung mga uh, kinamumuhian yung nanay. Sabi doon sa uh, Proverbs 14.8. Uh, 15.20. He's a fool. A foolish child brings grief to his or her parents. Proverbs 17.25. Foolish, foolish man commits sexual immorality. 6.32. 7.7.12. A foolish woman tears down her own house, Proverbs 14.1. So, maraming description sa book of Proverbs pa lang. But basically, nakita natin, that's how the scripture describes a fool. Uh, pangalawang description, so, it despise wisdom. Yung pangalawang uh, isa kong nakita, it's in Proverbs 26.11. Sabi dito, as, dog, as a dog returns to its vomit, so fools repeat their folly. Ang taong nananatili sa kanyang kahangalan ay tulad ng aso. Ang sariling suka ay binabalikan nito. So, a fool does not learn their lessons from their mistakes. Hindi niya, hindi niya natututo. Paulit-ulit yung ginagawa niya, expecting different results, pero ganun at ganun pa rin naman. They commit, ay they continue doing the same foolish things over and over again to their own destruction until dumating, umantong sila sa kanilang uh, destruction. Katulad ng Uh, naalala nyo, Israelites, paulit-ulit sila no? na nagko-commit ng, ng idolatry and then paulit-ulit na nangyayari sa kanila yung punishment, yung, yung wrath ni God. Yung mga kings, paulit-ulit na pinopromote yung pagsamba sa mga diyos josan So, fools are on a vicious cycle of sin. They're on a cycle of sin. Digging their own graves. Inukay nila yung kanilang sariling libingan. Deeper and deeper. And unless, unless God graciously saves us from this foolishness, of chasing our sin and lawless gratification, we are stuck on a repeating cycle of sin. We will sin and sin until we die. Paulit-ulit lang tayong magkakasala hanggat mamatay tayo kung wala ang biyaya ng Panginoon. Pangatlo, in Matthew chapter 7, the fools are foolish builders. 
ang mga angal, they are foolish builders. Ito yung sinabi ni Christ sa Matthew chapter 7. Everyone then who hears these words, verse 24, these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall. And ito na yung sa foolish builders because it, it had been founded on the rock. Verse 26, and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. Verse 27, and the rain fell and the floods came, the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was that fall of it. So a foolish man is a foolish builder. Like a man who looks at mirror, but didn't wash his face. Nakita niya na eh. Yung, yung law, nakita niya na. And nakita niya na kung gano'ng kailangan, kakailangan niya yung Savior, pero wala siyang ginawa. Uh, fool is someone who fundamentally disregards the Word of God. They choose what they want from it. Pinipili lang nila kung ano yung maganda sa salita ng Diyos. They twist it, they modify it, and but they don't really believe in it. Enough for them to submit themselves. Hindi sila naniniwala para magpasakop sila doon. They hear it, they nod their heads, mo sila pag narinig nila, but ultimately, they don't apply it in their lives. Hindi nila sinasamuhay yung salita ng Diyos. And thus, they describe sila sa scripture as someone who builds their house on a shallow, shifting sand of unbelief. When God's judgment comes, pag dumating na yung paghukom ng Panginoon, it will be revealed that their faith is uh, not genuine. Sabi doon, it fell and great was the fall of it. Yun yung tinayo nilang tahanan sa buhangin. So ito yung reminders sa ating mga uh, uh, Christian. Uh, in Ephesians uh, chapter 5, sabi doon, Ephesians chapter 5, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise. Verse uh, 15, uh, 15 yon. ito verse 16, Ephesians 5, 16. Making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Verse 17, Therefore, do not be foolish but understand what the will of the Lord is. Huwag kayong maging hangal sa halip, unawain ninyo kung ano ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Ang paggawa ng kalooban ng Diyos ay karunungan. Ang pagintindi at uh, paglakad sa kalooban ng Panginoon ay pag-iwas sa kahangalan. Uh, tulad ng uh, contrast ng foolish builders, let us build our house on the solid rock, uh, our foundation, our, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, uh, when God's judgment comes, kahit anong bagyo yung dumating, hindi matitinag ang ating uh, pananampalataya. Now, sa hindi naman Christian, uh, they, who thinks that they are quote-unquote wise in their own eyes, uh, they will come when you will find out that you're not. You're not really wise. The all-wise, the all-knowing God will exact His wise and righteous judgment. And if you're found outside of Christ, pagbabayaran mo yung kasalanan mo ng iyong buong buhay. Again, sa mga Christians naman, this is a comfort sa atin and encouragement. We are uh, considered full sa paningin ng mundo. Uh, sabi ng ating Panginoong Jesus, those who lose their life for His sake or for my sake, sabi niya, will find it. Losing our lives is a foolish thing to do sa standard ng mundong ito. But when He comes, it will be revealed that laying down our lives for Christ is the wisest decision that uh, we can uh, make in our lives. Tayo po ay manalangin. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word for this morning. Salamat Panginoon sa inyong paalala na uh, aming alamin at uh, saliksikin ang inyong salita upang maintindihan namin ang inyong kalooban. Panglakarin namin ito, Panginoon. Uh, humihiling kami ng kalakasan uh, at, uh, instruction, Panginoon, from your word, from your Holy Spirit, Panginoon, na kami igabayan sa pag-aming paglakad bilang mga Kristiyana. Huwag nyo kami hayaan, Panginoon, na maging marunong sa sarili namin paningin, kundi ang salita ninyo ang maging pundasyon ng aming pamumuhay. Salamat, Panginoon, po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan Yesus.
Amen and Amen.